Hello friends. In this video, I will show you how to drop objects realistically using physics in Blender. Now here's a sword in the center of the scene with a default cube. The cube is two meters in height, so we're gonna use it as a reference point to raise the sword to. Next, create a plane by going to add, mesh, then plane. Resize the plane to make it larger. Hit Ctrl A, then select Scale to bake in the change. And I raise it up slightly so it's easy to see. Now click on the sword. Then click on Physics on the right. Click on Rigid Body. Set Type to Active. Change Collision Shape to Mesh. Under Surface Response, set Bounciness to 0.4. Under Dynamics, click on Deactivation. Now click on the plane. Click on Rigid Body. Set Rigid Body Type to Passive. Under Surface Response, set Bounciness to 0.5. Now press Play. If everything worked properly, you should see the object fall in a realistic manner. If you like the animation, you can bake the keyframes. Go to Object on the top left, scroll all the way down to Rigid Body, then click Bake to Keyframes. Click OK. It will take some time for the keyframes to be baked, so be patient. This is to create keyframes for the animation and to allow it to work in other 3D software. Once done, you can right click to delete some of the excess keyframes. Now to export to other software, go to File, Export and select FBX. In path mode, set to copy. Then click on the little box next to it and set to embed textures. Then click selected objects. Give it an appropriate name. Then export FBX. Now here we are in 3D Studio Max. Just import as FBX. And here's the object fully textured with the animation applied. You can move it around as you see fit. You can also change when the animation starts by moving the keyframes around in the timeline. Now you can do the same thing in Blender with some adjustments. So re-import it back into Blender. Then go to Add, Empty, Cube. Resize it to fit the object. Then click on the object. Hold Shift and select the empty cube. Right click, then select Parent, then Object. Now the object is parented to the empty cube, allowing you to move the object anywhere in the world. You can also change when the animation happens by moving the keyframes around the timeline. 
The purpose of using the empty cube is to allow us to use it as a holder and it will not render. Now here's an example of another object. As you can see, it is too big. So first we're going to resize it. Once done, we hit Control A, then Scale. This sets the object to the new size. I raise it up like before, then rotate it slightly to lay flat for better results. I also create the plane the same way as before. And then we go back to physics on the right. This time I increase the weight of the object to 15 kilograms to match how it will be in real life. I also decrease the bounciness to 0 0.2. The plane is set to a passive like before and bounciness to 0 0.5. If everything worked correctly, when you press play, the object drops realistically. Then the rest proceeds as before. And you can see it here in 3D Studio Max how it opens perfectly, fully textured with the animation applied. This is a simple technique that can be used to drop objects realistically in a scene and allow it to be exported into other software. And that's it. If you like this tutorial, please subscribe. It really helps the channel grow and there's more content coming your way.